talking about salvation. What is salvation? How will we define salvation and how are we saved? I quickly begin with you, Pastor Israel. How will you define salvation? Uh, what is salvation to the body of Christ? Thank you, sir. Um, salvation is defined as being saved from trouble, sicknesses, or from your enemies, or having complete soundness. Now, to Christians, salvation comes when we believe in Jesus Christ, or we believe in what God has done for us. And our salvation is actually in God. Okay. So God, the psalmist says God is our salvation. Thank you. God himself is our salvation. We have been delivered from eternal condemnation, troubles, sickness. We have been saved. That is exciting. Eternal route. So, Pastor Becky, we talk about the Christian being saved from hell. Or uh, on the last day, some say they will make up to heaven. Some say they are not assured of their salvation. What we had concerning the word salvation, how will you define it? Okay, thank you, Pastor. Just like um, Pastor Asia said, salvation means being restored or being saved. So when, as a Christian, when you believe in Jesus Christ, you are saved from whatever trouble that might have come your way, whether it's health, sickness, diseases, whatever it is, you are saved. And you can only attain this salvation by your faith in Christ Jesus. God has testified about his son that if you believe that he died for your sins, then you are saved. When you believe this truth, that is it. You have salvation. When you believe this truth, you have salvation. Being saved from danger, saved from wrath. And so, Pastor Father, how then can people be saved? How are we to be saved? What is the way of salvation? What is the way to salvation? Thank you, Pastor. Like as my fellow pastors have pointed out, salvation comes by one and one thing only, believing in Jesus. You see, it's God's package for mankind. And it comes, and He did that by offering His Son Jesus. The Bible says if you believe in Him, you will not perish, but have everlasting life. It's a statement of fact. So believe and believe only. Amen. I like that. Believe and believe only. When we believe in Jesus Christ, we are saved. I want you to talk to us more about Ephesians chapter 2, verse 8, where it is written that we are saved by grace through faith. That is not of ourselves, it is the gift of, of God. How will you throw more light on this verse in Ephesians 2, verse 8 and in verse 9? Yeah, thank you, Pastor. Actually, in Ephesians 2, verse 8 and 9, simply trying to tell us that we only believe to be saved and for that matter it is just a gift it's not something that we should boast of or we should attribute it to our works you see god in his mind has planned this thing to come on earth because man had filled what well, in terms of works man had filled and god actually is saying that we should only believe we should only believe it is his own doing only believe when you believe you take you're, you're boasting out because it says concerning Abraham that if Abraham had wept, he has something to boast of, but not even before he, he God. So God actually is saying that we are going to be saved through faith, and it is grace, not of ourselves. So man must take his own self out and only attribute salvation to God by his own doing. Okay. Hallelujah. Salvation is God's own doing, not your own doing. So therefore, to attain it is by faith. We are saved by grace through faith, not of ourselves. It is the gift of God. We cannot attain this salvation by our works, but we attain it by grace through faith. So, pastors, when we are saved, we say it is only belief. And when we believe, we are perfectly saved. So what about a Christian that have believed in Jesus Christ and uh, probably you are saying his work doesn't count. Does that mean that when that Christian commit a sin, 
that did affect his salvation. Maybe he went to steal after his salvation. Maybe he lied. Maybe he committed fornication. Maybe he committed adultery. That did affect his, his salvation. It is good, but I like us that we treat this in our next video that is coming out. Better than this, that we'll be talking to you in our next video about these things I've pointed out. Can the Christian lose his salvation by works? Because we have said he is saved by grace through faith. So can you lose it by works? Your salvation is sure when you understand that it is by faith. When you understand that faith, you gain access into God's grace through faith. When you believe in Jesus' finished work for you, the Bible says that you are saved. Hallelujah.